Hey guys, Lisa Callagy here to show you how you can run a report in Power Teacher Pro to see your students' um, permission slips for um, the acceptable use policy, G Suite, and soon Schoology. And hopefully the media consent permission slip will also be um, available to you in this report. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is from our class link dashboard, we are going to navigate to the Power Teacher login tile and click. Just so that you're aware, Power Teacher is not rostered. It is called a password locker application on your class link dashboard. So translation for that means you have to log in successfully to your Power Teacher Pro uh, with your username and password only one time. And once you've successfully logged in one time, the next time that you click on this tile in your class link dashboard, your username and password um, will automatically be populated in that those fields and it will automatically log you in. So that is a password locker. If for some reason it's not working for you, uh, you'll find another video here on how to reset your password in password locker applications on your ClassLink dashboard. All right, so as you can tell, we are logged into a uh, Power Teacher page and it brings up the um, attendance page by default. And um, from here, to access your permission slips, you need to come over to the left hand side navigation bar, menu bar, and scroll down to where it says reports. Clicking on reports, you'll see that there is a window that opens in the center of your screen. And the first question is, which reports report would you like to print? And there is a drop down menu for you to choose your report. So scrolling down, you're looking for the student list uh, dash permissions. Clicking on that. Um, that is all you have to do. You don't have to fill in any other, any more information here on this page. You're just going to come down to the bottom right, uh, right hand side of the window and click on submit. Once that's submitted, you'll see that that status is running that report. You might also see some other, um, status here of completed reports. You can trash them if you've run this report in the past. And now you can click on view to view your report. So here is your report and you'll see that there are two um, columns with uh, information. The first column has um, the acceptable use policy information and the second column has the G Suite information. You soon will see other columns with other permission slip information. So let's talk about what these let these numbers mean. The first uh, number one means that this student here, parent, has successfully allowed their child to um, to participate in the acceptable use policy. So they're allowed to use computers in the district. And if you see a blank, that means that that parent has not uh, signed that permission slip yet. Or if you see a zero, that means that that parent has not uh, signed that permission slip yet. Okay, so this is accessing your permission slips, technology permission slips from your PowerTeacher Pro reports. Okay guys, hope this helped.